Hey what's up, my name is Aaliyah, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today we're going to be doing my September TBR based on my TBR board game. So if you did not see my TBR game last month, I will leave a link down below. This is a brand new TBR board that I just created this summer. So basically each colored square on the board correlates to a different way for me to choose a book for my TBR. So we have a TBR prompt jar, we have some tarot cards that are associated with different reading challenges, we have a color wheel spinner that can choose a book for me based on the color of the cover, we have my cat who can pick a book for me between a couple books with like treats on the covers, and there's lots of different ways. There's lots of different prompts so without any further ado let's get into the game so i'm gonna roll and we're gonna see what color we get okay so we got a seven so let's see what that is one two three four five six seven okay seven is a red so red is choosing a book for my tbr prompt jar so this is the jar right here it looks like a little mushroom uh, last time we didn't get this so i'm excited to finally get to use the jar Ooh, exciting. Okay, this little purple prompt is from you guys, so you guys can also leave me prompts in the comments if you want me to add them to the jar. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, what is this? Ooh, okay. It says, a book with gothic vibes. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. I like it. Um, I want to do a, oh, whoops, <laughs> let me just rip it in half. I want to do a reading vlog in September that's like dark academia, so this could go along with that, but also I'm getting married at the end of September, so I think today I'm only going to do like four or five rolls, just because I want to keep my TBR kind of small, but there's this book, I don't remember what the title is, I'm going to put the cover up right here, I know it's a queer dark academia, and it's kind of giving some like gothic vibes from the cover. And I think that's what I'm gonna go with for this. I can't remember what the title is for the life of me, but I believe it's a new 2024 release. Lies, lies and slander. So for this reading prompt, I originally picked Boys with Sharp Teeth, but when I was uh, looking at Goodreads after filming this video, I realized that this book doesn't come out until April of 2025. So I'm gonna pick a different book that still has gothic vibes to fit this prompt. And I think I'm gonna go with A Dark and Drowning Tide by Alison Saff. So this is one that's been on my radar for a little while because the cover is so gorgeous and I'm really excited to get into it. So basically this one comes out September 17th and it's about a folklorist who has to pair up with her academic rival in order to solve their mentor's murder and it's a fantasy romance that's got lesbians and it's also very gothic. So I'm excited about this. I don't think it's dark academia. It's more of like a fantasy murder mystery kind of a vibe. So I think that's gonna be great. Okay, and rule number two. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay, we got a nine. Love to see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine is a green. So green means that my cat Rigby gets to choose between two books. So that's interesting. I just did a really big book haul, so I might pick two from that that he can like choose from. I think I want to have him do either the daughter of Yis or let's see what else do we have on my TBR that might be good. I could also have him choose between that and like a dark academia. That might be fun. That's an option. I have a lot of different things I've been adding to my TBR. I've been adding like a bunch of monster romances and stuff too which is really fun. Ooh. Okay let's have him choose between that and is this one Academy of Liars out yet? Tell me, Goodreads, is it out? I think it must be, because there's a lot of reviews for it. Okay, I'm gonna have him choose between that one and An Academy for Liars by Alexis Henderson. So this is the new one from her. It's a dark academia. I think it's also a horror novel, and I'm really excited to get to that. It has this like really weird moth on the cover, but I think those are the two I'm gonna let him pick between. But I'm gonna do that in a second, because um, he's in the back room right now, now taking a nap. So we'll do that, we'll come back to that. So let's roll number three. Ooh, 11. Okay, we're getting some big numbers today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, 11's a yellow. Okay, 
So for that, we're going to spin a color wheel and whatever color we get, I have to read a book with that color on the cover. Okay, here's the color wheel. I hope you can see this. Okay, what did we get? Oop, oop. Okay, we got brown. Brown? What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, well, um, poopy book. <laughs> I'm playing. But we'll pick something. What has a brown cover? Um, I have rainbow shelves. I should just look. Okay, there's not a lot of things with brown covers that I want to read right now. Oof. Okay, let's let's consult my Goodreads TBR because I can't think of a single. Ooh, that's a lie. Big lie right there. I can think of one book that I recently added to my TBR. I think it's a monster romance between a minotaur and a human lady. I think it might be indie published. It sounds like really super extremely spicy, like like getting it on in the woods, spicy, you know what I'm saying? I can't remember what it's called though. I'm doing great with titles today, if you can tell. Ooh, okay, that's not, a, what, is that brown? Or is that purple? That's a purple brown. I don't know. Does that count? Somebody tell me if this cover counts. Uh, it's called A Yulian Sister's Guide to Getting Married. I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of a mauve. Um, okay, let's see if we can find something that's like more actually brown brown. Okay, what about this one? This is brown, right? It has wood on the cover. It's called Gotten by the Gator. It's a novella by Lizzie Strong. A uh, monster romance author, one of my faves. This is her newest novella. Um, and I think it's set in like the south in like a bayou area. Oh, I totally just lied to you. Um, let me just read the synopsis. It says Aurora's ex-husband got everything in the divorce. The dog, the house, the car, everything. And she's left to pick up the pieces. Crawling back home to her mother with her tail between her legs. She's expecting a big fat, I told you so, waiting for her in the small woodsy farmland of Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Okay. What she gets is a bottle of wine, a hug, and a drunken adventure into the woods with the mom she left behind to follow her heart. Now she's got to figure out what's in store for her, but also where did her shoes go? What? <laughs> That's the most random shit I've ever read in a synopsis in my life. Retracing her steps the morning after is a journey, but it gets weirder when she finds her phone still intact in the middle of the woods. Even more suspiciously, there's a new app installed, something called Kismet, a dating app? Seriously? To her chagrin, it starts a cheesy game of hide and seek to help her find all she's looking for. She leads her to it leads her to a cabin deep in the woods with a massive gator man standing on the front porch. Hello? Yuri is the grumpiest gator there ever was. Shocker. But he has a heart of gold, a soft touch, and a hunger for her that reminds her she's worth more than being some rich man's charity case. Bam! <gasps> okay. Interesting. Yeah, so I think this is part of a novella series where, like, each um, novella is following a different couple that met on this, like, monster dating app. So that's interesting. The cover kind of looks like like the gator guy's looking at her profile on the dating app, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to go with that because the background is wood, so it's technically brown. Wood is brown, right? <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, let's roll again and see what else we get. What are we on? That's That was three, this is four. If I could count to four, we'd really all love to see it. Okay. One, okay. Green, oh my god. Okay, so now I have to pick two more books for my cat Ruby to choose between. Holy shit. Okay, what else do we have? Um, let's do another Dark Academia. So I'm going to go with A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I've read this before and I really, really liked it, but I've been wanting to reread it this month for the Dark Academia vlog. And we'll see if we get to that. Let's have him choose between that one and then Babel by RF Guang, because I own them both physically. I read all of A Deadly Education, loved it, like three, four years ago? Probably three years ago. And then Babel, I started like a year ago and I got like part of the way through on a plane ride and I loved it and I just never got around to finishing it because it's really chunky. So let's do those two and then I'll decide which one to prioritize this month based on Rigby's pick. Okay, let's do, let's do two more rolls because this feels so anticlimactic right now. Twelve, okay. Let's give it some spice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Holy shit, it's another green. Um. <laughs> what? Okay, fine, fine. I'm cool. I'm fine. 
Good. No, good. Um, I really needed my cat to have, like, that many treats. That's definitely not going to give him bars. Uh, <laughs> good. Great. Perfect. Okay. What else do I want to read this month? I don't even know. I don't even know. I have so many things on my TBR. I don't even know, like, where to start. Ooh, okay. Here's an idea. Let's go with a couple other books that I recently bought physically. So I also just bought The Pairing by Casey McQuiston. Now I've heard that this book sucks, um, but I love Casey McQuiston with my whole soul. So I really want to try out her new book. And I was reading like the beginning of it in Barnes & Noble and it looked really good to me. Like it looks funny and entertaining and stuff. So maybe let's give that a go and just see what the vibe is. Cause I think that would be good. And then the other one I'm going to do is This Thing Between Us by Gus Moreno. So I recently bought that. I was thinking about having it be a book club pick and I put it in the poll on my Instagram, but it didn't win. And so if y'all don't want to read it with me, then I'm going to read it by myself because I've heard that one's amazing. My bestie Noelle read it recently and loved it and said it was a fave. So I think those are going to be the other two I have to pick between. And we'll do another roll hello and see if we can get something that's not feeding my cat more, more treats 10 okay this is another green ice workout <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and orange Woo, love to see it okay i'm gonna be real i don't even remember what orange is so i'm gonna look Ooh, okay orange is doing a tarot card reading prompt perfect okay let's do this and see what we get i promise i shuffled these after last time Ooh, okay, we got the Ace of Wands with the little bunny. So let's look and see what that prompt is. Okay, so the Ace of Wands prompt is to read a book featured in a 2024 release video that someone inspired you to add to your TBR. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Let me think about that for a second. My first thought is the Alley from Alley Do Is Read. It talks about a lot of new releases that I end up adding to my TBR, but so does Kayla from Books and Lala. So let me let me think about that for a second. Let me consult my Goodreads again and see what I've added based on like other people's videos and stuff. I feel like I haven't added one like super recently. Okay, I think I found one that was from like a 2024 guide, I'm pretty sure. So this one's called A Grim Reaper's Guide to Catching a Killer by Maxi Dara. I know basically nothing about this book, which is why I'm fairly certain that this was from like somebody's uh, recommendations. But I also think it doesn't come out until October 1st of 2024. But you know what, I think that's okay because during that week, like the first week of October, I'm gonna be on my honeymoon anyways. And so I need a book to read on the plane because we're flying. So I think this one work good for that. And also, I mean, it's about like a Grim Reaper. So that's kind of like fall and spooky, right? So I was looking a little bit more into a Grim Reaper's Guide to Catching a Killer. And I realized now why I added this to my TBR. I think Kayla from Books and Lala was the one who talked about this in one of her like upcoming releases of videos. But the synopsis is really, really cool. So I wanted to read it to you a little bit. So anyways, it says Kathy Valence is 42, mid-divorce and pregnant with her ex's baby. What? She's also a modern day Grim Reaper employed at Scythe secure collection yielding and transportation of human essences but frankly that's the easiest part of her life right now or at least it was until her latest client's soul goes missing when she finally tracks down 17 year old connor he angrily denies he died of natural causes despite what his file says he insists that someone at scythe murdered him and he demands kathy find out who and why Kathy has only 45 days to figure out what happened to Connor and help him move on before the boy's soul is doomed to roam the earth as a ghost forever. She's forced to rely on the help of her retired mentor, her almost ex-husband, and some sneaky moves by Connor himself. This is the wildest case of her career, and one wrong move could cost Kathy her job, not to mention her life. Ooh, we love to see it. So the genres say that it's a mystery, fantasy, paranormal, cozy mystery thriller. That's like everything that I'm into. I love that first line of like, she's mid divorce and she's pregnant with her ex's baby. And she's also a grim reaper who works for this funky company called Scythe. That sounds amazing. So anyways, I'm super excited about this. Again, the release date is October 1st. So I think that would be good. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. That's such a random like out of pocket pick, but that's why I really like the tarot card prompts because 
I made them up myself and a lot of them are like a little bit, you know, pushing the boundaries if that makes sense, like not designed to give me something I would normally read. Okay, cool. That's pretty popping. All right, I'm gonna have Rigby pick some books and then I will let you know what he picks and we can come back and do like a little wrap up or whatever. Hello, Mr. Rigby. How are you doing? Yeah, you're just waking up from your little nap. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Hi. He goes, give me the treats, woman. I will. Okay, hold on. Give me just a second. Okay, are you ready? Okay, we got the treats. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we got one here, one here. Oh, that was quick. We love a decisive man. Okay, so we're doing Academy for Liars. All right, ready, ready for round two? Okay. One here and one here. The pairing, okay. <laughs> you can help both. <laughs> Rick, you're a pig. <laughs> you ready? Okay. One, two. Babel, okay. So Rigby has made his decision. So we're going to be reading Babel, Hour of Kwong, uh, The Pairing by Casey McQuiston, Academy for Liars by Alexis Henderson, Gotten by the Gator, and A Drowning Tide, and then A Grim Reaper's Guide to Catching a Killer. So overall, I'm really, really excited. I think this is going to be a really good lineup of books. We've got a little bit of spooky stuff, a little bit of romance, and it's going to be a fun and fresh time. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin emoji in the comments, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye! Bye.